Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes of Science. Today, we will continue with Module 3, Topic of Biology for Grade 8, named Reaching the Age of Adolescence. Here in this Module 3, we will discuss glands and two types of glands called endocrine gland and exocrine glands. We will further know about few important endocrine glands and their secretions as hormones. Gland. A gland is a structure which secretes a specific substance in the body. A gland is made up of a group of cells or tissues. There are two types of glands in our body, endocrine glands and exocrine glands. A gland which secretes its product into a duct or tube is called exocrine gland, also called ducted glands. Examples are salivary gland, sebaceous gland, sweat glands, and liver. A gland which do not have duct or tube and secretes its products directly into bloodstream is called endocrine glands, also called ductless glands. Examples are pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, etc. Some of the glands on our body function both as exocrine and endocrine glands. Examples are pancreas, testes, and ovaries. Endocrine gland. Hormones are made and secreted by specialized tissue in the body called endocrine glands. What are hormones? Hormones are the chemicals that are responsible for controlling and regulating the activities of certain cells and organs. Hormones are chemicals that affect a lot of the bodily functions ranging from hunger, reproduction and growth to much more complicated functions like human emotions and behavior. These hormones are produced in our body through nine primary glands and these glands along with other organs make up the endocrine system. The hormones are poured directly into the blood and carried throughout the body by blood circulatory system. The hormones act on specific tissue or specific organ in the body called target sites. The hormones involved in the development and control of the reproductive organs and secondary sexual characteristics are called sex hormones. The two common sex hormones are testosterone and estrogen. Pituitary gland, an important endocrine gland. The pituitary gland is situated or enclosed deep within the skull and is the size of a pea. It hangs on a stalk at the base of the forebrain. This gland is regarded as the master gland as it controls the functions of all the other glands. It produces hormones that instruct other glands to secrete their hormones. The pituitary gland secretes growth hormone which controls the overall growth of a person. Secretion of growth hormone is maximum in adolescence period. Function of hormones secreted by pituitary gland. 
The pituitary is responsible for the synthesis and secretion of several key hormones in the body. These hormones include growth hormone, responsible for the growth and repair of all the cells in the body. Thyroid stimulating hormone, influences the thyroid gland for the release of thyroxine, its own hormone. Thyro thyroid stimulating hormone is also called thyrotropin. Adrenocorticotropic hormone influences the adrenal gland to release cortisol and the stress hormone. Luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, collectively known as gonadotropins. Luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone control the sexual and reproductive characteristics in males and females. Prolactin produces milk in the breast. Though it is present at all the times, the secretion is increased during and just after pregnancy. Melanocyte stimulating hormone involved in the stimulation of the production of melanin by skin and hair. Let's talk about another gland called thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a ductless endocrine gland situated in the anterior front portion of the neck. It roughly resembles the shape of a butterfly. It is also one of the largest endocrine glands weighing an average of 25 to 30 gram. This gland has two lobes on either side of the trachea. The primary function of the thyroid gland is to secrete two hormones, namely triiodothyronin, T3 hormone, and thyroxine hormone called T4. Both T3 and T4 hormones play a very important role and affect almost every tissue in the body. Let's talk about adrenal gland. The adrenal glands are found on the top of each kidney. Even the name adrenal directly refers to their location. These glands are also known as suprarenal glands. The adrenal gland produces a hormone named adrenaline. The adrenaline hormone prepares our body to function at maximum efficiency during emergency situations such as danger, shock, surprise, anger, excitement, fear, etc. When we face a dangerous situation, then adrenal gland secretes more adrenaline hormone into our blood. All these actions of adrenaline hormone produces a lot of energy in our body very quickly. It is the adrenaline hormone which prepares our body to fight against enemy by providing a lot of energy in a very short time. The rapid output of energy thus helps us to cope with this extreme situations. The adrenal gland produces and secretes another hormone called aldosterone. This hormone maintains the correct salt balance in the blood. The adrenals secrete their hormones when they receive instructions from the pituitary gland through its hormones. Another hormone that we will discuss is pancreas. Pancreas is located posterior to stomach with its head in the curve of tutanum. Pancreas is considered as a mixed gland as it acts as exocrine as well as endocrine gland. 
As an exocrine gland, pancreas secretes digestive enzymes into pancreatic duct. As an endocrine gland, it secretes hormones into blood. Only 1% of total weight of gland acts as endocrine gland. This portion of pancreas is known as islet of Langerhans. Adult pancreas contains 2 lakh to 20 lakh islets of Langerhans. Endocrine portion of pancreas is called islet of Langerhans, which is a group of cells. Pancreas produces glucagon, which plays an important role in the blood glucose regulation. Low blood glucose levels stimulate its release. It also produces insulin when blood glucose level increases. Insulin stimulates a process which decreases blood glucose level and stores glucose in the form of glycogen in liver and muscles. Insulin function opposite to glucagon and work to maintain normal glucose level in blood. Gonads Being a component of endocrine system, both male and female gonads generate sex hormones. Gonadal hormones are regulated by hormones secreted by the pituitary gland in the brain. Hormones that are responsible for stimulating the gonads to produce sex hormones are called gonadotropins. The gonadotropins called luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone are secreted by the pituitary gland. Ovaries. The major hormones of the ovaries are progesterone and estrogens. Estrogens. It is essential for reproduction and the development of the female reproductive system. Estrogens are responsible for maturation and growth of the vagina and uterus, widening of pelvis, breast and the uterus, changes during the menstrual cycle and increasing growth of hills on the body. Progesterone. These are the hormones whose function is to prepare the uterus for conception, regulating changes in the uterus during the menstrual cycle, ovulation aids, and stimulating gland development for the production of milk during pregnancy. Testis. The major hormone that is secreted by testis is testosterone that majorly influences the development of the male reproductive system. It is responsible and essential for increased growth of bone and muscles, growth of body hair, developing broader shoulder, voice deepening, and growth of the penis. With this, we end up this module three. We'll join you soon with another module. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you.